I'm standing in front of uh, Hammersmith Bridge on the barn side of the bridge. This is the bridge that has been closed uh, to traffic since the beginning of April. All river bridges are a crucial part of London's strategic road network for which Transport for London is responsible. Each borough controls a number of bridges. In case of Wandsworth, we manage three bridges, Battersea, Wandsworth and Putney. Hammersmith Council is responsible for management and running of Hammersmith Bridge. It has singularly failed to keep this bridge in good working order. For many years, double-decker traffic has been banned on this bridge and in fact there has been severe restrictions on traffic and now of course there is absolutely no traffic. The residents of Wandsworth are in the dark as to what happened, when will it be put right and how will it be put right. We have no idea as to what sort of traffic levels it will be able to take in the future. So I'm now at Putney Bridge and what has Hammersmith Bridge closure done to Putney? Well it has added 4,000 extra vehicular movements over the bridge that's 4,000 more cars and lorries per day. And there are further 2,000 on Wandsworth Bridge. And that means that there are people rat running through the narrow streets of Putney, getting through Putney in order to get to Wandsworth. The nitrous oxide pollution levels on the Putney High Street, which we had managed to control and reduce, have now gone up by a further 4%. And is having a devastating effect on the infrastructure of the roads and the bridges and, and and the surrounding areas. No wonder people of Putney are saying, when will Hammersmith Bridge open and when can we expect respite from this added traffic and pollution on our streets? It is about time that people of Wandsworth had an answer from Hammersmith and Fulham Council, as well as Transport for London, as to what is happening to this bridge, when will it be put right, and when can they see the end to the nightmare of additional traffic that is now plaguing our roads.